saw that Matthew was not handling it well and he took it over and did what needed to be done so that we wouldn't go out and protest. They actually begged us not to protest. That is what happened because the community was ready to go out and protest. And they said, please let us meet again on the Wednesday. The protest was planned for the Monday and they had a meeting arranged um, at Grand Palladium Hotel with Matthew Samuda, with the Minister of Security and some other stakeholders and people from the community and so on who were invited. Obviously, it couldn't be a public meeting, so persons were invited and that meeting took place. And this was after the Prime Minister made his announcement, right? Um, this was before, rather, the Prime Minister made his announcement. The meeting was held and, you know, we thought, yes, let us allow for the process to go through because if we don't have to protest we don't want to protest we just want them to know that we're going to protest if them don't do the right thing and protest don't mean bun tire and all of this we have intelligent protest speaking of which there's a protest tomorrow that i want to tell the people about i will tell you about it in a little while but back to the story all right so we got to the point where the prime minister made the the 24 billion dollar announcement authorized the project to start as an emergency and rain start fall and people start getting little water and so on and so forth it not come up to par because one the princess hotel still using the people water let me tell you these people are so lie and wicked that they came after the report came out after i reported on it and i only reported on it when i was certain after negril times which is the community media house negril times put out a documentary in that documentary, it showed, and I'm going to post it in my video, which will go up on YouTube. It showed in the documentary that Matthew Samuda was asked in the meeting, what is the situation with Princess? Do they have the um, reverse osmosis going on? Is that how they have constructed the hotel over practically a year period? Or is it the people's water that they are using? Lenbert Williams asked Mr. Samuda this question and he said it was reverse osmosis in the report on record on video in the same report in the same mini documentary because it's a series on this water issue produced by the Negro Times media house in the same video it shows the NEPA report which says that the Princess Hotel applied for reverse osmosis plant but no approval was given this was in april then by the time june come just what year you have a representative from the hotel the minister of water and some other people coming again to tell boldface lies by saying that the reverse osmosis plant now is operational at princess hotel and that the community was somehow delusional to think that the water was being used by the hotel i'm like we must be stupid for these people to actually come and tell us this because how can the hotel put up a huge only ever look upon one of them something they google it and look upon it reverse osmosis plan for one two thousand room hotel what size that would that be and i know little something that that not small so them claim say in a that there's one or two months where everything reveal that put up that get authorized and that i use remember say hotel practically done you know so even if that I use and our business that what we did concern about are all these months when I suffer the people them and I use them water, which is true. We know to be true. There was no reverse osmosis being used at the hotel at the time of that announcement by Minister Samuda. When I asked about that, we sure about that. This is not misinformation. This is not misinformation. So that pass and gone. And now if it come back around like a month or two later, if you make Negril times look like, oh, you all are delusional. I make me look like me did the pandy radio tell lie. If me did the pandy radio tell lie, oh, come, nothing can come out of that all now. Nothing can come out of it because I never tell a lie. I don't come to the internet come tell lie. I don't give misinformation. And I don't want to talk about the old bagabaga, baga, baga them, the old politics people, them, on the internet, on the two sides. And then I talk. I soon get to that. 
So them come a couple weeks ago, come say, oh, the hotel has reverse osmosis. Now it's active and this is after them done bill. And how the hotel are going to use that now. Whatever, whatever. Please. We already know the so NWC line them over there and all with the Guan Guan already. We know the whole thing. All right? NWC pipeline run go over there. Fine. We now say don't give the hotel water. We just say don't take the people them water. That's all we say. Give the people them water. Just like I don't want to give the tourists them water. So me observe that so them do that, you know, in the last couple of weeks. I'm going to find the report and I'm going to include it in my video, which I will put on YouTube for showing all them people are lie and wicked. And then we do anything for make the people. We tell the truth and I expose them. Look like, say, we delusional. We not no sense and them can just gaslight we and it just go away like that. No, it not go away. It not go away. We still have troubles. And until the water project, they fulfill, we are watch them. Anyway, it reached to a point now where we said the people them have little water under them pipe. Them glad. When the people them get water two and three days a week, them are rejoiced to all them glad. Because people them didn't get no water and them did a suffer, you know. I mean, I tell us that the people them are put in the group and them are say, we get little water today. Just a couple of days ago, we look, we see how much tons of gallon of water waste out of the tank up a tank hill white all down and the where the people them need because even them community were surround the water tank now get no water and i'm like this is stupidness them start lay the pipe them say oh them have to stop because they must never dig the trench deep enough or them never put no sand under it and some of you say who are building them around here keep in town shoemaker a shoemaker build the road why a man never know say he must put something in where he got in before the pipe start lay and why a man will dig a trench no know the perimeter and the diameter and, and the depth and all these things why me with my little regular brain know these things somebody said we still not have no water and we still have your pay yeah okay so a part of the other this is what i wanted to say now and then i'll move on a part of why the people are still not getting enough water is that these truck water truckers are sabotaging nwc yes they are you have people who are operating illegal water trucks who are benefiting greatly they are profiting and so they go and they sabotage when the water come in at the hydrant them teeth it out them full up them truck at night time when everybody has sleep oh no i told the people them can do better make them buy water and then sometimes them not if we can get no water from the truck man them because through the hotel them are paying more money them gone up at hedonism them gone up swept away them gone wherever buy water and line up and wait and get them big money them 40 toes now load them 50 toes now load them 60 toes now load when it did bad in the drought time i'll expect the regular cities to be fine 40 50 and 60 toes the people them can't afford it the people them should not pay nothing at nwc should have truck water give them and we hear about water trucking from the minister and i'll know some of the people must no water them care empty black tank or give the people them no water so we dip on it same way people not because we not jump on the internet every day. We dip on it same way. Right? So the truck man them, the wicked truck man them will come from Mandeville, Spanish Town, Kingston, and all about we don't a negro. Underneath we go back where we come from. I don't need to go on. The hotel them freed. The hotel them freed. So them just buy the water because they afraid the tourists. They know say no water now, did they? So then they just, they truck, they just line up. If you drive in Negril right now on the side of the road where hedonism is, for those who know when you just enter in Negril, the royal town is there, hedonism is there. It's pure mud on the side of the road right there because all the trucks go there and wait for their turn to go in and fill up the tanks at hedonism. And it's just nasty. Be a mud. When you're driving a negril, negril no look like negril again. Garbage over there, so. Me have my video, man. Me edit my video. Me just take my time. I do my thing. So me not post up nothing yet. The garbage over there, so. Plus it stink when you go down in the town. The people, them with the business place, them not help me. Because government can do everything. And if you live in that town and you have a business, you have to paint up your building. Negril no look good again. At my place, me can tell you now. The place where I fix up. Um, another thing also that has we see a move on 
Speaking of business places where we want to fix up, but them actually are fixed up. Big up Sunshine Plaza on West End, because around it stay very bad. And it's now being renovated and it looks very good. It's one of the nicest buildings around there now. The people them out in the town, the Chinese them, why the government now make, the, make sure that the Chinese them fix up the old smell bad supermarket them where they have in their place. Them not paint, them not wash down wall, them not do nothing. When you go in at them supermarket, it smell bad. And them they everywhere. A Chinese own every supermarket and Negro now, practically. Patool left, right, and center. You don't want to drive for a gas station. This is go to Orange Hill. Patool will kill you. Now, mind your John. When you reach all up in a Monterey and some of them places with the patool, them. The whole place just don't stay good. I mean, if you want tourist town, they need to do better. All right, so this I did when I want to because there's so much things people are I mean, going to come live for like a month now. One of the other things that we see a move on in Negro, which is good is that right where sunshine plaza is across the road is the sea now there used to be a sea wall there and people lick it down and whatever plus it all from long time so they are rebuilding the sea wall to prevent the water from splashing over on the road so much and also i presume they'll be repairing the road right there because the water really mash up the road now this is a dangerous little piece of thoroughfare i'll describe it for you so you come around the corner and then you start to go up a little hill this is on the left where the church is i think it's the anglican church but we call it um church corner right everybody know church corner if you know any really know church corner so right at church corner they say now they start to beautify the church corner and fix the retaining wall on the other side because as me says a corner and a little hill so enough accident always happen there so plus 100 patrol did it too so everyone want to fix me just as say community don't look good patrol in a every street and every lane a business place then i stay good when you go up on the beach road you have to smell sewage constantly what is that oh me if you pay my nice clean money come from italy or france or one of them places there and i smell sewage when me the pan negro beach road seven miles strip the business place them dilapidated the business one of them, some of them come from the community. Uno no have no like a pride in our no place. Government can fix everything, fix up, fix up on a place, fix up on a hotel them, trim on a edge them, fix up on a gate them, nice up the place. Right? Another thing also which is good because me can't tell us, you see, all of them things we are going, if we never go on with what we go on with, nothing ain't going to happen. So that's why we have to give thanks for you knowing so we voice make a difference. And we in our class by ourselves, we not come with foolishness when we come by internet or when we attack on behalf of our community. The reason why the community come to me is because they know so I represent them well. So and if I go to them, they come to me. Anyway, them said they go fix up the run about September. I go hope they end with it and bad, they look bad. Negrel stay bad, it won't clean up. In other town, the little market area, they say everywhere you go, you smell garbage. Car garbage now take up. Big, big, big one, big stink dump there, right? Pan the left hand side, I wrote when you got up good work, they saw smell like a people dead up there, like a dead body, like a dead house. I saw you smell when you drive past there. A town like Negrel. That's why we don't stop talking. Because our place and we burn and grow there. And we want to see the best for them. And we don't care who vex. So, yes. The work has started. And we're happy to see that. And we encourage more of the same for the communities across Jamaica. I'll give you guys an update when I have it. And I'm also going to be putting some of this information with all the videos I've gathered and everything on my YouTube channel. And I'll do a piece of this live in there as well. All right, what the next thing? Oh, by the way, um, so my name that I'm working with, since it's official and I have the YouTube channel to do this work, is Amber Joy's News and Reviews. Guys, go and like the page on YouTube. Go subscribe and put on your notifications so that you can know when I'm putting up videos because, like I said, I'm preparing content. Don't watch the time. 
uh, as me say, me now go be one of them people that were overwhelmed up on the internet, and me never seen no need for come with an update since the last update. Because since the last update, the Prime Minister made the announcement, and me did come and say that, and we give thanks for that. And then now uh, the work did start and stop. But somebody that watch work one up to today, me ask them for an update on the pipeline. Me not hear about nothing yet, so me wait. But there is also a change in the attitude of the MP. Because one of my members said, I did have an issue with the MP too. Yeah, because them for answer question when people ask them question. I don't make way for asking a certain question. Do the work and can report to it. We is the people we put on in there. So more land attitude is much better now. And the communication is better than before. It's not 100% where it should be. But we give thanks because we have to communicate. And we're not here to be contentious. We're just here to make sure that they understand them assignment right um so yeah little things are move and we, we say we well, you know we really love that and we want if we continue all right i'm ready for the next thing we're going to talk about now all right next thing we're going to talk about now right now me i feel laugh me not tell no lie and um, we can use that same water situation yeah, with uh, the scenario we take place with Matthew Samuda as an example for what me about to say. So, Miss Una beat the Prime Minister wicked. And this time, me not to understand what I'm going to do, Andrew. So, why don't I do it? <laughs> me are trying to understand. It's a misunderstanding. I don't get him wrong. Trust me, Pandis. Remember so when me beat Andrew in a normal, you know? And me always beat who me for beat when me no semi correct. Me no come here for just beat, 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 beat. And me no nobody beat me. You understand? So me try and keep it real. But me see the internet a beat the Prime Minister about this social media thing when say me go crack down upon. And me a tell him how no misunderstand the man. Me no beat him this time. Or yet. Yet. Me could say yet. I'll tell him why. The Prime Minister come and the Prime Minister say, him have to do something about the misinformation on the internet. And he me see the whole uh, internet attack on the man as some people were never used internet before. Because I think sometimes people don't take the time to understand. That's why anytime you hear me come and I go talk something about him, I already do my research and check and know why I go beat him. So here what make me not go beat him right now. Because he right. The internet is the wild, wild west. And it's going to be very hard for him to contain a lot of the things. But they also have a responsibility. Every country has a responsibility where this is concerned. And in my commentary at work about this, I did say that it's a worldwide problem. It's not just a Jamaica problem. It's a worldwide problem, but the Jamaica one, them Bada and Jamaica, why them deal with them wicked as the Prime Minister? Nobody know. Me, no, me never see people disrespect one Prime Minister so yet. And believe me, even when me mad at him about certain things, me still not going to behave certain way and say certain things. You understand? So here why me not going to beat Andrew now, because he's correct. The internet is the wild, wild west. And yes, there is misinformation and lies. Lies have been told about me. Lies have been told about the Prime Minister. Lies may have been even told about you. And maybe it was so serious that you thought to yourself, you want to do something about it. What can you do? There are some things which exist that you can do. But I think what the Prime Minister is saying is that so many people are getting away with it. That something more needs to be put in place. Now, I think the misunderstanding lies where people are saying that the prime minister means that people who are talking you know him no one in the one them talk because he did have the attitude that one of the time i may beat him for you know i mean if you remember one video me have a video where go 600 and something thousand views on tiktok but i never me post it somebody take my video and post it where me did i say um and you know what nobody for talk it's true him have the attitude there but he must curb the attitude that too because the people them actually show him say no brother and so it works so i know it's not that the other part of it is that people are saying he is 
also guilty or his team then is also guilty of using misinformation for political gain and for you know their own favor and that too is true but the misunderstanding about it is that the prime minister can say that the people who are putting out the things in favor of him or in favor of his party or whatever him don't direct them to do it him don't know where them get them information from so if it benefit him him could care less so to me if you, if you like beating for them something there it a go hard for you get that for stick you understand now if it is that whatever he's gonna come with is gonna muzzle people is gonna um affect people who bring information which is true but not favorable to them because that is the concern where free speech is concerned and not only free speech truth because it's not just about their truth it's about truth and truth seems to the goalpost for truth keeps steep just a move so there's like you don't know what truth is nowadays it's warped and so I, that's why i have understanding for it You understand um so yes me agree say we have to be careful where that is concerned but because them not come with nothing yet me not really me not like jump on people or jump for beat people me I wait for see so if let's say then come with it now i like how we have problem with things like um your blood forget take with needs and so and all the other things where people say about needs where them not want if them come with that now then we can contest it and say no but you're affecting our free speech here and this cannot be allowed to go but because we don't see anything yet i don't think it makes sense to be like killing up ourselves about it because the truth is someone can really damage you with untruths on the internet and anywhere else so that needs to be addressed and with the behavior of jamaican people on the internet it's really wild and crazy and a lot of things to do with serious issues just being alleged and people just sitting and do it from an ip address so we can't just a while neither we have to have some type of you know what i mean decorum both with self and how we put things out there and all of that and for make sure so we attack it through because i think a lot of times we are convinced of something maybe because it aligns with our beliefs or we have a bias for whatever reason but it's not the truth so you can be holding on to other things besides the truth and then be on the internet getting yourself in trouble and, you, and people on the internet spew all types of things now for the ones who are spewing like um disrespectful comments and criticizing the prime minister and criticizing me and criticizing you and that different like if them want to say you're ugly or tall or short your foot big anything that is foolishness me not think of that in my talk all of that with the people that work on the internet Jama nobody no cost on internet like jamaican people and most of the time with them cost about i know nothing sensible i know nothing with people help the country when we come and cost and passionate about things are things like water poverty crime and they see you sitting there so i know them little frivolous foolish things there right now me know say the blogger them and the people them who use the social media like me i go feel threatened by this type of conversation and some of the points that they bring up are valid like for example like i said to do with freedom of speech i know too i know too well about people trying to muzzle me and keep me quiet i know too well that these politicians don't want the truth exposed i know very well that they don't want us to talk about things like the effects of the vaccine and what it's done in the world to people and all the other things that they don't want us to talk about that's why people like me have to keep talking because we know that what we're talking about is real and makes sense it's not misinformation that the coronavirus was just one big corruption it's not misinformation that the hospitals are suffering it's not misinformation that potholes are on even the highways in jamaica it is not misinformation that this is gone town so you know if it is that these are the things that the bloggers are worried about i get that 
but they also have to understand the perimeters of broadcasting anything. So, me now, me the pan traditional media. So, me do the radio show. We have with perimeters them with the broadcasting commission. Certain music and what can play, certain thing can talk, whatever, whatever. Right. So, me, me learn from this. So, of operating at a space there. When me come on social media, me go carry some of that with me too. Because me also understand that this is a type of broadcasting. Me not think some of my blogger them understand that. I don't think some of the people posting stuff too. Because remember, it's not just bloggers posting. You have individuals who post and they become popular. People start to call them influencers. So they're influencing someone. They have thousands of followers. Some of them are actually artists. Some of them like they retire from music and turn blogger not really blogger because they now put up a video or not now just them come and do live and rant and whatever and everybody free for do that but to what extent that's why the people them diss them so me see some artists i get some disrespect me i tell you judge i may never see this in a life man woman and child the internet will rob you you understand so yeah i do agree that something must be done it's too wild it's crazy jamaicans on the internet make the most noise them are the biggest empty barrel them not come with no proper content anyone them will come with good content them not go viral you're not gonna really see me i go viral and blow up like some of them like yeah after you do some extreme thing there, there is like sexual deviance all over tiktok there's the begging, there's the cussing, there's the um, bringing down other people, there's character assassination, there's literal lies. Like I'm hearing, it is alleged that this woman get caught up in this situation. She was on Cliff Hughes' program where people were saying she's having an affair with the Prime Minister. When all along, allegedly, the woman is, um, they said she was pregnant for the Prime Minister. All lies from what i'm seeing um and allegedly is fibroids why she have a little tummy no even just that just blows my mind because i'm so educated on fibroids and know what it can do to change the shape of a woman so apparently or allegedly the woman came out and said this that she has fibroids and so her belly look like a high and the people must say she a breed and nothing don't go so now, who am I to tell the woman that she's pregnant for Prime Minister when she say a fibroid she have? So those are the little things why I understand what the Prime Minister is doing. So it's not that as long as, as Mr. Mina beat him yet, and the people who run out and beat him, who don't have an understanding of what the man has said. Oh no, sometimes we too jump if you just beat somebody because we don't like them. And also you go, me not have no personal disdain for him, for Andrew, Matthew, or none of them. None of them, me not have that personal something where me just not like them and they no. Anything when me say with them, I have to do with them job what them I do. Right? And if they're mature enough, well, we see it's a match never so mature. But maybe we come around in the future. If you want to last, he might forget mature quick if he want to have longevity in that game. Yeah. Just like how Andrew used to so arrogant with the people them, and he might have to switch that up because we're not having it. Just like how them now uh, do the things them, and we are telling them, say, oh, no, I have to do it and I have to do. Even if we have to cause a revolution, look what happened in Kenya two days ago. The young people them running at the parliament, and what, they do, what, the, what the president have to do now, he might have to Get rid of that the finance bill where I come with, but I come oppress the people in my Kenya with taxes and the people them give up all their life. People dead for that. Because they done poor already. And you want to go take loan for come tax the people them now. Uh, uh, and the people them now already are suffer. The man in Kenya is a wicked. And I saw if you deal with them politicians. Yeah. Right? If you march upon them and protest upon them, I make them know so we don't know joke with them. So as long as none of them think the Andrew try to oppress, we good. Because we understand it. We know we live in this world where people are evil. And they will go on the internet. They'll make whole videos about you. They'll put up your 
maybe they'll find AI images of you, your parents, whatever, play voice notes. It's all a mess on the internet. So no cannot just get up and I beat the man. Me see some people with us them have sense. We have internet account. We said them are influencer with the by internet. So often come and across the prime minister. We across the prime minister over. We're not there at the stage there yet. We're not at that stage. If we reach that stage, then now, then we can say, but we can't just jump.